<laughs> Hi everyone. Um, we've got a little supine hit yoga for you. So for this class, it's about 10 minutes. It'll be um, a few different uh, workouts that we put together to then do a circuit at the end. Um, so if any of the moves don't feel right, uh, just feel free to skip them or modify as needed. Um, you can always speed up, slow down the tempo. Uh, listen to your body and know when you need to <laughs> dial it up or back. Right, today? Exactly. Um, so hope you all enjoy and make sure you uh, follow me on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and keep having fun and enjoy your class. Bye. All right, we're going to get going right away into this hit yoga. So we're just going to start on our back. So find a nice flat spot. I'm bringing our backs all the way down. We're just going to start with just a few rounds of breathing. So we're going to keep our knees bent so our feet are flat onto the mat. Inhale, roll the shoulders down, back and away. Thanks, buddy. And as we inhale up through the nose, we'll feel that chest expand and exhale. Pressing out through the nose, but we're going to press out all the way through the belly. Inhale up, feeling the chest rise. Exhale, push through, belly rises. One more time, inhale, drawing in. Exhale, release. Feel free to stick around for a couple more rounds of breathing if you'd like. Otherwise, I'm gonna start us, get us moving a little bit. So we're just gonna come to our dead bug. So our hands are just gonna go straight up into the air again. I'm gonna relax my shoulders down, back, and away. So my uh, shoulders are not up by my ears. And my fingertips are just straight up, kind of a relaxed form. When you're ready, we're just going to take our legs up into the air. So my back is staying flat onto the back. My toes are going up. Do whatever you want with your feet. Flex, point. I have really tight hamstrings, so um, it's not looking the straightest of straights. Um, but we're just going to start here with this simple quotes around it, dead bug move. And all we're doing is just putting our legs and arms into the air. So while clay normally makes this look super easy, it's just taking a lot of core strength just to stabilize my legs and arms up in this not normal uh, move that we like to do. So we'll just take it for a few more rounds of breathing. We're just slowly warming up the core here before we get any motion going. And just like that, we're just gonna bend the knees. So now my feet are going uh, out at a 90 like I'm sitting into a chair. I'm just gonna take my hands and place them onto the thighs. I'm flexing my feet here and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press my hands into my thighs while my thighs are pressing back. So this looks like I'm not doing much of anything, but I'm really pressing hard with my hands and pressing back with my legs. So I'm feeling a lot of activation through my quads. Uh, my arms are getting a little warm and my core is still, as always, firing up nice and strong. So let's just do this press for two more rounds of breath. Definitely. Great work. Now we're going to add a little more motion in. So my right leg's going to go forward. My left arm's going to go back. And we're taking it into like these little scissor uh, lifts back and forth. So out, bring it into center, press away. So this is where we kind of add on with that dead bug. This is too much. You can always get rid of the arms. Just do taps as an option. We want to make sure our lower back's staying flat onto the mat. So we get that full activation through the entire belly. You can do the taps with opposite arms. Or we can extend our legs out nice and straight and come into a little bit of a hover. So I like to just learn the moves and we're gonna add them all together into one fun little circuit here. Let's do two more on each side. I should clarify. And hold here. So this one, you can always just keep your legs um, in a bent fashion and just do the arms at first. So I'll just show it with the arms. I'm just gonna inhale my arms up back towards clay, out like a jumping jack, and then a slight lift up. Lower down, bring them back together, bringing them up into center and reach forward. So I like to call it like a jumping jack with my arms and then to a little pike tuck. So adding with my legs, I'm gonna extend my legs and arms out like a boat, out like a jumping jack, Lift, lift and arms up, lower back down, bring it into center, pike, lift. So just like that, again, I'm keeping my back on the floor. So if any of these aren't feeling good, 
you can always modify by not lifting up because then we're putting a lot of stress into the core and the body. Um, otherwise, you can just keep trying these moves. Again, you can try with bent legs. It makes it a little easier. You have less of a lever out there. Again, bent legs and lift. So whatever works for you, we're going to do it two more times and then we'll move it on into a full circuit. So let's inhale our arms out. Exhale. Lift. Inhale, lower. Back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, crunch. And lower it down one more time. Out. It's like we're swimming almost. I like it. It's a little too hot outside for us today, so that's why we're indoors. And lower down. So now we're going to do that in a full circuit fashion. Um, so we're going to put it all together. So let me just adjust. Let's just try it with one more big inhale. So inhale, roll the shoulders down, back away. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms and legs come up, dead bug, two rounds of breath. Bend the knees, press our hands into the thighs, two rounds of breath. Full activation, pressing back, pulling in. Our reverse bird dog style action. Let's come out with those scissor kicks. Lift, exhale, lower, inhale, rise. Exhale, lower, inhale, rise. Feel free to slow down, speed it up, whatever you need. Two more rounds. All right, let's add in that extension out. Jumping jack pose, lift, lower down, bring it back together, pike position, exhale, lift. Lower, out, lift. One more full set here. And release, bringing our feet down. We'll just drop our knees to one side, quick little twist through our spine here to release, hopefully, little to no tension that we built into the back. But it's always nice to kind of reset between each set. We're gonna do that all again one more time. I feel like I'm not even looking at anyone. I'm just staring at the ceiling. We're going to do that all again. So let's twist to the other side. I'm already feeling my heart rate lift. Seems simple when you're just laying on your back, right? We're not doing much. Just laying on our back. Just kidding. That's a lot of work. Let's come back into center. <sighs> Releasing that out. Inhale, roll the shoulders down, back away. Let's do that. Set one more time. So let's just inhale again. Shoulders down, back and away. Inhale, arms and legs come up. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Slowly build on in. Let's bend the knees, pressing our hands into the thighs. Take it back for those swimmers. So let's extend one leg. To the other side. Hello, Clay. And again, making sure if our lower back is lifting, we are modifying by not making that motion as big. So maybe just the taps here. Hey. Okay. Uh -uh. Listening to our body, taking breaks, slowing down, speeding up. Whatever we need to make it through this entire circuit. Hello, Stinky. Let's do two more on each side. And then we'll get into that favorite jumping jack pike. So let's extend oh, legs and arms out, out to a jack, inhale, lift, lower down. Pike it up, lift, lower, out, lift. Oh yeah, bud. Let's do this one more time. Oh yeah, it's so hard. And release, lower that spine down, crossing our leg over. Whew, that feels nice. Nice little release. Twist on over to the other side. No, all, exactly. All we'll do to end this little core hit workout is make our way all the way on over. Hello, Clay. 
We're just gonna stay on this tabletop right here. We're gonna do a few rounds of cat cow breathing and again, loosen up that spine. Exactly, that's how I feel. And this will be everyone's favorite, but for this last one, we're just gonna hold a plank, uh, but a dolphin style plank. So we're coming onto the forearms, and if you're not wanting to do the forearms, you can always stay up onto the palms. Oh, Clay has a lot of my hair in his toes. Thanks, bud. Coming on to our forearms, we're going to start in this modified position. So just holding here. So my elbows are underneath my shoulders. My belly button's drawn in towards my spine. If I need to make this any different, I can always try to bring it up a little more. Maybe more into a tabletop if it's a little too much. Or if you are ready, we're going to roll on up onto the balls of our feet, holding this plank position. Nice static posture, so I'm pressing back into the balls of my feet and feeling a nice stretch, stretch on my calves. Fingertips still forward, my head's nice and long, belly drawn in. And again, you can stay right here, but to make it a little more hit style, we're just gonna add some taps side to side. Again, keeping that head neutral, tap right and left, right and left. I, I don't do what my neck's doing, but I'm trying to entertain Clay. Yeah, okay, okay. Do it for a few more on each side. And that's how we're gonna finish it. We're gonna press it back into a nice big child's pose. Big stretch. Exhale, release. One more time, inhale up through the nose. Exhale, release. Beautiful work. Oh, you can end in happy baby too. Good one, Clay. That, that sounds like a nice one. So feel free to add these on to any workout. Um, if you just want to do this one hit, that's perfect, or just half of it, anything works. Um, we're probably going to take a break because I think I uh, burnt up a little sweat. Good thing we did this inside. It's too hot out. So hopefully everyone enjoys. And again, if you have any questions, comments, please let me know. Um, always open for... Uh, any styles you want to see, uh, but again, follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And we hope everyone has a fantastic day and a great warm up. Thanks. Bye. <gasps> yeah. You ready? <laughs> I'm gonna get you, get you, get you.